Hello, welcome to my channel Lady D. This will be my video for um, this week and I'm joined here by okay, another one of my cats again sleeping on the bed as she's most um, most weeks. So today what's happening this week in the planets. We have, it has been an interesting week and we have some had some things coming out. Um, I, like we had that, I did hear of the person from NASA coming out to confirm things about um, aliens and, and stuff. So we are seeing truth coming out. And other stuff that I saw as well um, that's come out too. But this week we're going to have another interesting week ahead, as we always do with the planets. Um, we also had the, yeah, because we had the conjunction last week with Mercury and Uranus, which actually did bring out some surprises. Um, so you, a lot of you may have found that it would have been about relationships or about money. Um, even for myself, it was about m money. So there was a lot of things that, are, that were coming up. So moving forward this week, we do have on the 11th, is a lot of stuff happening on the 11th. We do have Pluto, which is going to be um, sort of squaring nodes. We've got, v, we've also got um, Venus squaring Jupiter. We've got Mercury going into Gemini. And we've also got an aspect with um, Mercury with Neptune as well. So what does that all mean coming up here? I break it down. So Pluto is about the, um, when I've, when I've been um, explaining what Pluto is like, I always got to explain that it was like a, a death and transformation. And so for me, that to me is like the phoenix. It's like, you know, a butterfly. We go through this big transformation, but also usually something does end. So when it is squaring, the notes about a life lesson, it's destiny point here, so there could be a big change in sort of where you feel like you're heading or your life lessons coming up here. Um, and it is, and we're also giving up because the nodes are going to be changing soon and going into uh, Aries and into Libra. So the south node is where we're moving away from and the north node is where we're going to. So we're going to go into Aries, which is more about ourselves. Um, so this is going to be a big thing coming up. We've also got the square that's happening with Venus and Jupiter. And I feel like this is going to bring about things, um, like confusion in terms of like finances and relationships as well. And where we've got the square, the planets are not going together. They actually are going apart. So um, if I was a, a positive aspect, I'd say, you know, things are going to be working out with, with these uh, with financial and with relationships but because they're moving apart it's not this could not this might not be a good time to gamble as to taking certain risks to do with money and relationships and it's going to be hard because it might be that you feel like it feels right i'm going to make these moves i'm going to start a new business i'm going to go to the poker machines and gamble my money away and it ends up not being the best not being the best thing at all i'm just looking up things with the notes um, to just sort of give you a bit more understanding of the nodes that come up. So the node, node life, person, destiny, um, showing forward, evol evolution, like evol we evolve, um, and choices and growing. So I'll look more into that too when we get the nodes shift, changing signs. So yeah, so it's like we're and cause we're heading into the venus into leo um it is going to be like we want to be full guns blazing we want to move move forward if you're born with venus in your natal venus in leo you're going to be a person that probably moves quite fast into love and you move quite blindly as well um i also feel like the leos are not sometimes they're not the best with judging characters of people they get blindsided a little bit i find them with certain things coming into their life and they are a lot of risk taking and, and gambling too because they want to have fun and be in the in crowd as well so i feel like when you've got that venus there you move into relationships quite fast and you can be quite blinded by things and um, when it doesn't work out and it's you're going sometimes you go against your own intuition too because you just want to be in there and fast and it's exciting as well so you might find that these risks and these things, so it's, it's important to listen to your gut. If it doesn't feel right, don't just ignore it. It's probably telling you something. Um, then we've got, yep, yeah, so on Sorso on this day, we've got the 
uh, Mercury moving into Gemini. Gemini, um, Mercury is the way we think, it's the way we communicate. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, so this is a very strong Mercury energy that we're going to have here. It is about networking, it is about being very social, it's chatty, we're thinking about our networks, we're being more sociable, we are being more chatty, we're looking and researching things, we're going back because also Gemini is about learning things. They are networkers, they like to learn, they never feel like they know enough. So we've got these also coming in. This is where we're going for the time being with this Mercury in Gemini. And I feel like, you know, are we feeling more social and thinking about, you know, what can I what can I do and, and how can I use this net this partnership to get further and how can how can let's move it together? It's about working together, um, being and just being, yeah, being more social. They're also youthful people as well. So you might be um having a youth, feeling more youthful energy coming up here with this as well um and then we've got the aspect with venus with mercury too we're not venus sorry with neptune and this could bring about things like um sort of seeing things clearly not not being deluded but um also having more compassion for people as well um not hiding things not being too secretive and, and just like bloating things out so i do feel like there's more truth things coming out with this um gemini in mercury in gemini as well and we've also got pluto on the 12th moving back into capricorn it's going to be there till january 24 and i do feel like as i always say when it's in between these signs there's like one foot in Capricorn, one foot in Aquarius. Even when Pluto was in Aquarius this week, we heard the news of an Australia of Jenny Craig um, collapsing, and that's a very Capricorn thing. So these energies are mixing together. So it's going to be, it can be quite intense. We might see more things about financial things collapsing, more uh, jobs, people losing jobs. We could be seeing all these things because the world is, it's setting things up for the big bang and the big thing that's going to happen as well. Um, too. And I also remembered um, that there was a volcano. I looked in my predictions and I predicted a volcano in Hawaii exploding. That happened recently as well. Um, so that could be part of everything that's going on. Because don't forget, we've still got this Uranus in Taurus, which is creating an unstable world, unbalanced. Even though we've got Jupiter there, which is giving a bit of luck, keeping it together, but it's not. It's still not going to fix everything because we've got the other energies still there. Okay, what else is happening and this week ahead? Um, I just feel like don't be surprised when we see or see governments failing or things crashing. It's all we we know things are coming. We just got to be prepared the best we can be um, because I feel like there's going to be more things coming up. Like even as I'm sitting here now and it's been happening frequently, I I live near the army barracks. Um, well, not near, it's about a good 15, 20 minute drive. But I can hear them practicing. So I can hear the bombs and them practicing with their stuff. So they're having frequent, sometimes it gets very loud as our house shakes. So we know things are coming up. Um, they, I feel like they're, all the countries have got their chess pieces up and they're all preparing for things. Even though they're saying they're not, but I feel like they are. Okay, what's I've got this week? I've got crazy um, setbacks to deal with. And even for myself, I'm trying to organize this show, this platform show that I really want to do. And at, and I feel like I'm going to have to sort of go out of Sydney to do it because every time I'm trying to organize or contact a club in Sydney and near where I live, they just do not understand what I'm trying to do. And um, they don't get it, they don't understand, and it's just not going anywhere. So I feel like I'm going to have to look at things, venues outside of Sydney um, to do it in. But it's just, it's just where I've got to keep pushing. I got here um, people wanting to step up but then take a step back. So it's like you get that feeling of wanting to move forward but you actually get a step back. Um, I got here as well, um, don't be a sheep this week. So if your gut's telling you one thing, do not follow everybody else. You know, like we, have, we saw recently in the last couple of years with a certain, certain thing where people were you know pushing for one thing and even though people were going against a better judgment and they went and did something and it maybe wasn't the best decision they made don't be a sheep always if you've got an instinct follow that instinct be yourself now this is a hard one try not to criticize others which is can be so hard because we're every human and i even find myself got a capricorn moon that sometimes it's what we do but i've got here maybe don't vocalize it 
if they try to learn to negotiate because we're into that negotiating season because we're in this Gemini season coming up here and the sun's in Gemini as well so it is all about negotiating and networking um, okay being be, being level-handed and opening your heart to shine so just like opening yourself up to things being inspired by other success and follow their footsteps you know not that you're copying them if someone that you look up to that you like um yeah just follow their footsteps and where they have been what they find out what they did to then see if you can maybe do things in a slightly different way or maybe you can look at things in doing a similar way to get that same success um We've got here don't be fool don't be foolish as well or don't, be, don't be fooled um look up and research again this is the gemini aspect that's coming up here it's time to learn something new like a new hobby like hobbies could be a thing that's coming up and again it's a more of this gemini mercury and gemini we got here be the best you can be um, don't be fooled by people's games um, things will go in a second if, like time is going to go by so fast and what was here and next minute it's not there um, you know we're seeing you know people celebrities passing away it's just one minute they're there next minute they're not it's this week it's going to be things just fast going um i got here um people people will cry for help i have feel like there's a people will cry be, be crying for help for some reason i got here um create stable relationships um time to rethink things so again like rethink evaluate things coming up um don't let um don't let problems get you down and i just feel like the world is about to change we're coming to this big transformation this world is changing and keep changing and we're going to come through some more things ahead okay so let's do some cards of what's coming up hmm i'm gonna do these cards here this time let's have a look let's have a look here what's coming out oh the week ahead Anyway, and we are all trying to trust, even myself. Um, this week has been a big thing for trusting to me too. It ended, everything worked out fine, but I did have a bit of a freak out earlier in the week and my, tr my guides were right. So it is about trust. And we do have this blind trust, you know. We're sitting there and I feel like there's going to be more things coming up. There, I feel like there is going to be some sort of big announcement coming up here. Um, and this is going to affect like the the world, and I feel like this is where we might see like something about like, the global policies or, or global negotiations. It's about global, too, and I feel like this is going to be about where no more can we just be a hermit and hide. We are going to have to step out and try to move forward. And I feel like take what people say about you with a grain of salt this week. People are going to have their judgments about you and people are going to want to try and blame you for things this week. And I just feel like just let them keep their own opinions to themselves. Um, you know who you are. And I just feel like this is going to be a rapid change, rapid things moving up. Um, but I feel like those who go with the flow, those who follow their belief systems will be rewarded this week. There will be some sort of rewarded there. Um... And, you know, even even though um, you know things may not seem, even for myself, you know, my my, my Uranus and my big shock was I got a bill for the big event that I do, the MBS, and I was like, this price can't be, it can't be real. They're sending me, and I rang them up, and I was like, there's a slight increase. And I was like, this is not a slight increase. It was a twenty five percent increase, which is not a slight increase. And um, they're going to get back to me after they do this they've got a big one in melbourne at the moment so if you're in melbourne you can go to the mbs there so uh yeah so hopefully there'll be something positive that's come out with that Ooh. okay be careful of financial stuff this week especially with this square that's coming up here i just feel like there could be a change or a death and it's as the money stood at me so there could be some sort of change financial change that we see coming up as well just be careful of financial things do not be fooled or, or someone wants to put you like tra trap you into or chain like this card is standing out to me this devil card just be careful don't be fooled out or caught out this week um with certain things 
but I feel like also there is help at hand or there is like help on the way so there are like people helping others and calling out things too for people but I also feel like it's, it's very much trusting your own gut like those of you done the work or done the research and try to self guide yourself those people who are more confident in themselves and will be able to also go forward but I just feel like it's some sort of big announcement it could be about an ending or something to be financial it's some sort of announcement to do with finances ending um it might not be the most positive thing that we're hearing um but there's something coming up here that i feel like could happen this week it might be on tuesday that comes up too and i feel like there's something about reconnecting with pyramids um so maybe we're looking at archaeology might find something to do with like the pyramids some sort of new find could be coming up as well that the, the a pyramid and the cards are sending out at me too but i just feel like you know, might feel like relationships tiredness or feel like you overworked your relationships you feel like you've done so much work and nothing's sort of going forward and you're sort of like what do I do now um, and I feel like that's where you've also got to be like assured like if something's not working out maybe it's not the best two or times to let go of things as well um, but it's also a playfulness energy here as well for this week too which is with love so I feel like um, maybe spending time with children or having more of a playful energy here in relationships could even help you better, help you more too. So also do a channel for channel. Let's see where we go here. This week is going to be a destructive and busy week. For things will fall that you never thought possible would fall. Where you thought the most stable institutions will be here forever will fall this week. There'll be a collapsing of something that's financial, but something that everybody relies on too. It's not time to be scared and we're not, not trying to scare you or put you into havoc. We are just trying to warn you and that things are changing around you. You'll all be safe and you all will be fine, but just keep your ears out and keep your eyes wide open for people are trying to fool you, people are trying to blind you. And we want you just to know what's coming up around you. It is a time for beauty, for people who feel that their inner beauty can release outwards, you people will shine much more. For people who are ugly inside, that will shine out and people will go against this and will go against those people, those leaders who are really not, not there for their people will always show up this week and we're on the way out. It is time to reconnect to spirit, reconnect to yourselves and reconnect with each other. So people who are on your own side, people who you get along with, the people who you've been with the most. Okay. Um, so there's four cards spread quickly. Just keeping track on time because I've got an appointment. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Okay, here we are. Card number one, which is this card here. This card here, we're looking at different opportunities. You've got a light bulb moment, so there's new ideas coming in here and you're thinking of new things. It is time for releasing. It's time of knowledge that doesn't serve you or that is wrong. Like, don't keep it. Something about old knowledge or burning of knowledge or things that no longer serve you. Yeah, but you're really just got to make your mind up about something this week. It could be about travel. Um, I also feel like in terms of like entertainment or maybe you're trying to entertain someone but there's just a lot of things going on in this card um also the soccer balls are going sending out to me so it could be a time where you're having to do more physical activity or something to do with sport as well um but there's other things about travel here making your mind about travel but having a bright idea and you look, look like you're doing a lot of research you're investigating things and just seeing that making sure everything is done right um, someone there with you that's also helping you make the decisions of where you, what you need to do as well. I also feel like you're very divinely guided this week too. Card number two, which is this card here. This card, you've got all the answers. You don't need to listen to other people. You've already got it. Trust your instincts. Go forward ahead. It's like you've got to create your own little world, your own little space, and just stay in that bubble this week. Um, you are stronger. You're feeling more positive. You're feeling more energized this week too. I do feel like it's a kind of a bubbly fun week for you ahead for this card card number three which is this card here this one you're needing support and help from others you're feeling a bit down um, but you are feeling like you do need some support from other people around you and it can be like a bit of a sad week or you've been emotional this week um, but it's also about not losing hope as well that I feel like this card too 
and but it's all about reconnecting about people from the past as well with this card as well card number four which is this card here you got a lot of lack of sleep this week and you need to catch up some sleep too i do feel like a little change around you there is a new beginning there's about keeping warm um there's a lot of magic around you and some spiritual stuff they are giving messages they are trying to also a lot of healing taking place for this week too a lot of releasing work but i feel like you are overworked you're overtired and you do need to get some rest as well okay um thank you so as i said i am still trying to organize um i feel like i'm gonna have to go outside sydney if i want to do a platform show because people in sydney friends i'm asking just do not get it um if you have any ideas please let me know, know in the comments if you are in sydney and i think and i will be i've got events coming up um i do i'll be at canberra in two weeks on the 20 2nd and 24th of June I will be in Canberra for the Boho Lux so if you're in Canberra come down and say hi I will be doing readings um, they will be $60 for 15 minutes or 100 for the half an hour because um, I do have the prices up there up a little bit because I've got to pay for the space and my accommodation and to be there um, and then in July I do have a, a lot of venues I've got Mingara coming up on the 9th on the Eighth, I'm at Bankstown for a, a fair there as well. So, um, thank you for your likes, shares, and comments. And I'll see you for my next video. So, bye for now. And have a, a fabulous long weekend if you're in Australia. So, we are celebrating. Why do I'm still gonna say the Queen's birthday? But I don't want to really indulge the King. So, I'm still gonna call it the Queen's birthday. So, I hope you all have a good um, Queen's birthday long weekend if you're in Australia. So, bye for now.